What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Rainbow Cup, and specifically the early Rainbow Cup meta, um, so you guys can just get a jump start on how to prepare and what Pokemon to acquire. Now the Rainbow Cup um, is a five element tournament, which we haven't seen before. We've always had four and then three for the Nightmare Cup, but for the Rainbow Cup we have fire, grass, water, bug, and electric. So there's going to be a lot of diverse Pokemon that you can choose from for this tournament and a lot Lot of really good options to track down and not only are we going to take a look at the rainbow cup meta but we're also going to take a look at some of the legacy pokemon you guys um, should be trying to track down for trades um, before your tournaments start because there's going to be some definitely some must-have moves for this tournament um, but don't worry the a lot of the legacy pokemon you're going to want to track down um, there'll be plenty of them out there because most of them will be community day pokemon um, so at, stick around to the end because I'll have some infographs up for you guys um, with ideal movesets of legacy movesets um, for the Rainbow Cup. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest Pokemon Go PvP content. Without further ado guys, let's get right into the Rainbow Cup meta. Alright guys, diving right into the Rainbow Cup meta, this is at its most simplified form. And what do I mean by that? We're not accounting um, in this graph, we're not accounting dual typing or um, move sets that can counter other Pokemon. Um, but this is just the elements at its core. Um, and be sure to note that I forgot to mention in the beginning video, um, not only are we limited by these elements, but we're also limited by Kanto and Johto Pokemon. So meaning you can only use Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon for the Rainbow Cup. So if we take a look at the um, elements allowed in the Rainbow Cup, we have Fire, Grass, and Water, our Trinity that we all really know. Um, but then we also have Bug and Electric. Now Bug is going to be doing super effective damage to Grass, and Electric is going to be doing super effective damage to Water. So this is really a very simplified look at the Rainbow Cup meta. Um, and how you guys can kind of approach um, your team building um, to just make sure you have coverage um, for all these different types. As we dive a little deeper in, um, some things you guys will start to notice. So if we replace the symbols um, of the elements with the strongest Pokemon of these kind of typings. So if we take a look at Fire, um, Charizard, Ninetales, and Typhlosion are really going to be our front runners here for Fire. For Grass, we got Venusaur, Meganium, and Victory Bell. Water, we have Blastoise, Lapras, Azumarill, Quagsire. Um, and mind you guys, I know there's a lot There's a lot more typings here, right? We still got, you know, Mantine um, and uh, uh, Lantern. Um, forgive me. Um, but these are just examples. I can't stuff every Pokemon into this graph. This is just um, a very simplified approach for you guys. Um, but as you guys can see... Um, bug types as well, we have Venomoth, Fortress, Beedrill, Electric types, we have Raichu, Magneton, and uh, Raikou. Um, so that's how the meta is kind of approached. But some things to note, which is why I was talking about the movesets and the typings. Um, Beedrill having Sludge Bomb, right, is going to be doing super effective damage to Azumarill. So just because Beedrill um, in the bug slot countering grass type Pokemon, which it will, um, not only with um, X Scissor as its charge move, but also with Poison Jab and um, Sludge Bomb, it's going to be doing super effective damage all over the place to grass type Pokemon, but it can also cover Azumarill. Um, and then also electric type, right? Raichu um, can beat uh, Charizard because Charizard is going to be not only weak to water and rock, but it's also going to be weak to electric. Um, so just because the, the graph is set up how it is, there's some key things to note. And finally, um, Venusaur, I think is definitely going to be the front runner for grass type Pokemon. Um, and why? It has Sludge Bomb, guys. And Sludge Bomb going to be doing super effective damage to other grass type Pokemon, which is really going to put Venusaur ahead um, of other grass type Pokemon. But this is just a very early look at the Rainbow Cup meta um, and gives you a really good idea of the strong Pokemon to be looking out for and how it kind of will play out. So now, um, the legacy move guys, this obviously isn't all of them. I know you guys out there are gonna be like, oh, you don't have Dragon Breath Gyarados on here. Trust me, I know um, these are just some of the key ones that I think you guys should be looking out for. Obviously, we have our community day moves. Those are our starters, um, all of which have community day moves, um, which will be if you're gonna run a Charizard or you're gonna run a Venusaur, you're gonna wanna have Blast Burn and Frenzy Plant. That's just gonna be something you want 
um, and if you don't have one it's it's quite easy to acquire because lots of people in the community will have it um, what I personally have done is ask for trades and I give them you know higher level Pokemon so if they want a Venusaur for raiding maybe um, you know give them one of my Venusaurs and what have you but uh, another Pokemon Lapras we have if you're watching this um, as of Friday the 24th um, Legacy Lapras double Legacy Lapras is coming to raids on Saturday so you guys are definitely want to go out and get this because an ice shard Lapras can beat grass type Pokemon in a two shield scenario um, which is very interesting because the ice shard is going to be doing super effective damage to them um, we got Amistar with Rock Slide um, and Amistar is kind of one of those sleeper Pokemon um, who has Mudshot and Rock Slide and Ancient Power. Um, so it can be a real threat to a Charizard who's going to be four times weak to Rock. Um, we got Ninetales, a Fire-type Pokemon with Flamethrower. Um, that is definitely a legacy move that a lot of people probably won't have. So maybe you can um, snatch one up, especially if you don't have a Charizard with Blast Burn. Um, and then some of the Electric-type Pokemon. Um, Raichu, uh, Thundershock is going to be the legacy move and you're definitely going to want to find that if you're going to be running an electric type Pokemon, Raichu is going to be a great option. A lot of people will have Raichus because they've been evolving their, um, you know, special hat Pikachus and whatnot, so someone may have a Thundershock one. Um, Magneton, um, like you guys know from previous cups, Magneton with Thundershock Discharge, very solid uh, double legacy Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the community has already acquired these, but if you're able to snag one up, this is going to be a great pick. And then finally Venomoth um, with Bug Bite Poison Fang, um, still covering those grass type Pokemon. Um, but definitely if you can find it, go ahead and track it down. Um, you guys can feel free to pause this video, take a screenshot, um, put it in your memory bank, ask around for these Pokemon um, because they're definitely going to be really strong picks for the Rainbow Cup. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys found it informative. So be sure to smash that like button and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the Rainbow Cup and what Pokemon are looking really strong for you guys because um, there are so many solid Pokemon out there for this tournament um, and it definitely helps our Stardust savings for the Rainbow Cup with the fact that a lot of the, all the starters um, cost 10,000 Stardust to unlock a second charge move um, and Beedrill as well which I think is going to be a pretty strong Pokemon for this tournament has an uh, unlock cost of 10,000. Um, so just yeah be sure to comment down below let me know what you guys think what Pokemon you guys are planning to bring for this tournament. Um, and like always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.